Good morning, B Stav Nation. How are you guys? Uh, we're back at it today. It is Tuesday, March. Double deuces uh, down here in Atlanta County. Going to be doing a little striper fishing. And I am, uh, well, we just put in the ramp low tide. Awesome ramp. Plenty of water still. So, solar lunar charts. I don't know if anybody follows that, but definitely should follow your solar lunar charts. And this week's not a good week for fishing. So, we're going to see what we can do. Top of the tide is going to be right around uh, 12 o'clock. And uh, I'm only able to fish to the top of the tide, maybe the first half hour of outgoing. Then I got to boogie out of here. So, um, but we're going to give it a shot, see what happens. Now, those of you that do follow the solar lunar charts, next week, that whole week looks good. So, get out there and fish. All right, guys, stay tuned. This is going to be a good one, I hope. Well, I jinxed myself in the preview. It was not a great day. Uh, this was one of two fish that I caught. Unfortunately, it's just the way it goes sometimes. It wasn't for lack of effort. But stick around to the end of the video, and I'm going to show you the app and the websites that I use for tides, for winds, and for the solar lunar predictions. What's a big fish? This thing slammed it, and this is a big fish. Are you out of the water? Yes. All right, I'm going to spot lock us. This. this is a big fish right here. I got to get him out from under, oh, away from under the boat. Time, brother. Yeah, I got to get out from under the boat. He's under the freaking boat. Hang on here. Oh, he's going to chase the shit out of my line. Get that? No, hang on. This thing is big fish. I gotta get off from under, I gotta get around under the boat. Oh, big fish. Oh, it's coming back. That's a good fish, dude. Holy mackerel, that thing slammed me. Got a feeling he's foul hooked. Foul hooked, that's why. Still good fish, but foul hooked. There is nothing worse than when you think you got a good fish on and it's a foul hooked fish. No, no, no. He's in. All right, he's on, he was under you. He's foul hooked. That's why it's so, so hard to get. Got him. Nice. All right. Man, hunting him down, baby. Hunting him down. We've been out here for the better part of an hour, at least, I guess. Marking them, nothing chewing. Made some moves. Here we are. All right, let's move some of this, some of this stuff out of the way here. What we got going on, unless they're fishy. All right. All right, let's see what we got. Today is also going to be a lesson that no matter how many websites and apps you check about the wind, sometimes they're wrong. That's a good looking little fish right there. Good looking fish. Very nice. Very nice. You stab nation, we worked for that one, buddy. Back in, got the release. Yeah, he really did. And I'll tell you what, when he hit, it hit, I, uh, well, just caught in the belly, so. All right. Yeah, they're down there, bud. Nope. Nope, but they're down there. Let me just move with that troll motor a little bit. All right. Nice little guy starting to chew. There we go. You guys can see what I'm using. There we go. Starting to chew. Starting to chew, starting to chew. Let's hope they continue. Well, Beef Staff Nation, as fate would have it, those were the only two fish that came over the gunnels. We were marking fish scattered all day. They just weren't chewing for us. This water is dirty. Absolutely dirty. We got an incoming tide. About another hour, 15 minutes of incoming. 
In the interest of not boring any of you viewers to death, I'm gonna jump right to the apps and the websites that I use. So this app here is called WinFinder. You can upgrade to WinFinder Plus. You pick and choose your favorite areas that you like to fish, favorite locations. And this app will show you the wind direction, the speed, the gusts, the weather, and that map uh, little icon in the circle there on the right, if you click on that, you can then look at the weather, the wind, and advance it in three hour increments. But if you click on just the name, and we'll say we're gonna click on North Wildwood, this is what you get. Okay, we clicked on North Wildwood. I have it uh, circled up top where it says just a forecast. You'll see to the right of that is super forecast. You have to swipe over and you'll get that. You have three hour increments. It gives you your wind, wind direction, wind speed, maximum uh, wind gusts, your weather, your temperature. It also gives you your tides, high tide, low tide. Swipe to the right. Let's look at super forecast. Okay, super forecast. The main thing about this here is that it gives you more of an hour to hour breakdown so you can kind of watch how things are going to progress throughout the day. If you remember on the first page, I talked about that little map to the far right that was in the circle. This is what you get when you tap on that. It basically gives you a screen with colored graphics of the wind direction and the speed. You tap on the button down to the right hand side and you could advance in three hour increments, forward and reverse, to check out the winds for the day. Also, on this screen here, you will see that red five. Means nothing, that's just a couple areas as I have marked as favorites. All you need to do there on that screen is pinch or spread to zoom in on the area of choice. Okay, Beastav Nation. This is one of my very favorite websites for fishing. Tidesforfishing.com. Keep this on your phone. Save it. Long and short, you click on that blue tab. Once you've picked the area of choice that you're fishing, click on that blue tab down the bottom for your tides. And it's a pretty basic screen. It basically will give you the high tide and the low tide for the day, as seen here. Now, if we go back to that original screen, or you can scroll, you have an option to scroll, but if you go back to that original screen, I love this portion right here in yellow, the solar lunar, solar lunar. So it's based on sunrise, sunset, moonrise, moon phase, and moonset. And it gives you a fairly accurate breakdown of the day and the times where you'll have major and minor periods of activity. It also lets you know, is today going to be an okay day, a so-so day, or is today going to be a really great day for fishing? And I found that these tie times, these breakdowns, they're pretty accurate. They're pretty spot on. And I honestly, it also gives you the confidence you need to stick with it and keep fishing as hard as you can. Beastav Nation, today wasn't a very productive day on the water as there were only two fish caught. But it was a great day on the water nonetheless. So if you have any websites or apps that you find bring your fishing game up to another level, please hit something in the comments. Post them. Let us know. Let's share the wealth here. Guys, please like. Please subscribe. Please be careful out on the water. God bless. Go fishing.